It's been said that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. That's especially true in Los Angeles tonight, where in fact a boulder has become a rock star. Here's Ben Tracy. Stay on the curb, please. Stay on the curb. At 4.25 a.m., under the cover of darkness, this rock finally rolled into place. We've been up all night. <laughs> We've been following the rock. 500 people were on hand to greet the 340-ton shrink wrap boulder at the Los Angeles County Museum of Art. Yes, this is art. The rock is held lightly by these walls. It's levitated mass. Wow. That's the name of the sculpture, levitated mass. And the masses in Los Angeles are all lightheaded about it. It's like billions of pounds. As the stone rolled towards L.A., it gathered plenty of fans. 20,000 people came out to see it in Long Beach on Wednesday. The rock left a quarry east of Los Angeles 11 days ago. It traveled 105 miles through 22 cities in a roundabout way to avoid low overpasses. I thought it was going to be a little smaller, but it's like huge. Yeah. And this truck is big too. It's a lot of wheels. 176 wheels to be exact. The specially built transport truck as wide as three freeway lanes hauled this piece of stone, said to be the largest boulder move since the Egyptians built the pyramids. It crawled at just five miles per hour. The Rock had its own Twitter feed and left no pun unturned, thanking its marvelous fans and noting that you can't take anything for granted. Except, of course, the inevitable backlash provided by this Facebook page called the stupid LACMA boulder. <laughs> Cash Strapped California is somewhere between this and a hard place, so spending $10 million moving a rock may seem as dumb as, well, a rock. But it was paid for by donors and has certainly paid off in publicity for the museum. Huge is the right word. Um, this is an artwork, it's a sculpture. It will take another two weeks just to levitate this mass into its place in the art world. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Los Angeles.